Well, here we are back again, and this week we're talking about taking care of yourself. Whether it's getting outside, getting exercise, eating well, but of course we're also talking about getting plenty of rest. A while back, we took some time to talk about how pizza can be used to explain how rhythms are broken down. And we compared a whole pizza and a quarter of a slice of pizza to a whole note and a quarter note and how they correlate together. Well, all of those notes have an equivalent that is a silent note or a rest. So let's take a moment now to review the different types of rest you'll commonly see in music. Let's start with a quarter rest, which receives one silent beat. So instead of the quarter note, which will receive one beat of sound, the quarter rest receives one beat of silence. Now, when I think about quarter rests, I think about a seagull that got caught in a gigantic gust of wind, maybe at the beach, and is getting blown sideways. And if you look at that kind of sideways lightning bolt shape, that quarter rest gets one beat of silence. Now, the whole rest and the half rest are very, very similar looking, and they're sort of hard to remember which is which. And although there's different ways of remembering, this is the one that I like the best. You see, the whole rest is worth four beats, and the half rest is only worth two beats. So I think you'd agree with me that the whole rest is stronger than the half rest. Well, to prove it, that whole rest is able to do a chin up and grab onto that line and hold itself up on that line because it's worth twice as much as the half rest. See that half rest? Not strong enough to do a chin up. It has to just sit down on the line below it and look up and watch. The half rest only gets two beats where the whole rest gets four. Now we've talked about the whole rest and the half rest and the quarter rest. Well, what about the eighth rest? Now the eighth rest kind of looks like a fancy seven. An eighth rest is a half a beat and a quarter rest is a whole beat. It makes sense that if you look at that zigzag shape of the quarter rest, you can sort of imagine that half of that could turn into an eighth rest. So when you look at it music and we're counting rhythms, it's so important to understand how rests work. So if I had the simple rhythm of one and two, three and four, we know how to count that. But what if I got rid of beat two and instead made it a quarter rest? I would have this, one and two, three and four. Beat two still existed, it was still there, it was just silent. You notice when I clapped that I brought my hands apart, sort of made this like kind of bubble around it. Well, if you really think about it, they sort of look like parentheses. And that's exactly how you would mark it in the music. You would still feel beat two, but then you would put parentheses around it showing that beat two is silent. This week, I want you to think about not only rests in music and rests in songs, but also make sure you're still getting plenty of rest. And I can't wait to see you again soon.